for the assist, wait patiently, and if, if that happens to, oh, maybe it's going to happen, no. Nope. Now here we are today, and we have Sex Tech here at the show, and it's done in a very respectful manner, and that's really what we were aiming for. We wanted to see that respectfully done, highly innovative tech that doesn't objectify human bodies, doesn't objectify women, and it's really innovative, and, and we're seeing some really beautiful things here at the show, and we're just really, really happy to be the, the agents of change that really kind of uh, were the catalysts for this, and uh, we're just, we're happy that we, we can be leaders in this space. actually started the whole industry. It did. It yeah. did. It, 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 it did. It, they did. Yeah. No, they, they, they know that it works and, and you can see it because they're starting to put other cuts. And you saw my face last night when we got the bocce boxes and yeah. I was just like, oh my god. Yeah. No, and, it, and actually they both look like they're in like this wonderful conversation. The way that people approach sexual health technology has been has not changed for at least 80 years, and the way that we approach female sexuality hasn't changed for millennia. Uh, we demonize female se sexuality, and that's why we're here, though, is to change that conversation and have that healthy dialogue and to uh, remove the shame around sexuality and how we talk about sex and how we innovate around sex technology. Uh, we haven't done much innovation in this space for the last 80 years, and I think that it's far past time for that to change. So everybody already is like, their tampons are tampons, the cups are a completely different thing. So. The necklace that you can wear out, and the real magic of these wear is by Yeah, it's so This is something that has been happening for a very long time um, and just needed to be in a mainstream stage because people are having these conversations and it's really important to be in a place such as CES, which is you know the largest consumer electronics show, to also have products that has to do with female sexual wellness as part of their health and wellness. Because we know that these products have been on the show floor for years, but they've been traditionally for men, like VR porn, silicone dolls, but uh, when it comes to women's vibrator, you know, they obviously had a bad reaction to it last year. You know, we're always trying to do things better and we definitely make mistakes. Uh, we're really good at that. But what we do is we always try to get better and that's what we've done there. The fact is that sexual uh, wellness is part of wellness generally, sexual health. Uh, and we have a lot of focus on, on health and technology. We're experimenting this year. It's a one year to see if we could do it in a tasteful way. Look, we have people from over 160 countries here. We want one third of them from outside of the United States. We want everyone to feel comfortable, but we also want to do the right thing for women and, and, and make sure that that's, their health is part of what we offer. So we're, we're trying to find our way. It's not going to be perfect, but we're doing the best we can.